Hello everyone, this is Asma Khali from Cloud Pages, and in today's video, we will be talking about how you guys can connect Motic with WordPress within 5 to 10 minutes. So, without further ado, let's just go straight to the video. Okay, so first of all, we are going to need a redirect page. Uh, that page will be used at the very end, it will be displayed at the very end, but we're going to create it at the very beginning of our page since we need that URL. So going into the pages, click on add new. Come here, simply write the title of your page, the content of your page. Simple, publish it, publish it and make sure to copy your page address URL. I'm going to copy it and paste it over here. So that's it. That will be our page. So once we are done with our page, let's go back to our dashboard. Now, the second part is we're going to need our WP Motic plugin. So go into plugins, click on add new. From here, search for WP Motic. Click on install now. We're going to go with the one with 10,000 plus active installations. Click on install. And once it is installed, we're going to simply activate it. The next will be directed towards our plugin page. From here, click on the settings for WP Motic. Okay, guys. So you need your Motic URL. Now, this is the URL that appears on your Motic site. You have to paste it over here. I'm going to embed, uh, embed it within the uh, WP photo direction. I'm selecting that one. I have disabled my tracking image. Now, these are the three things that you have to be sure of. Once you do all three, simply click on save changes and your settings will be saved. Okay, guys. So we have created a redirected page. We have our WP Motic already. So the next part is that we're going to create our uh, form in Motic. So come on your Motic site. From here, go into components, click on forms. Click on add new. Now we need a standalone form, so I'm going to select that. Now name, you have to name your form. Now I'm going to name it um, form 1. This is important. You have to submit your action. I want redirect URL that whenever submit action will be performed, it will be redirected to a URL. Now which URL was that? The URL that we just created a page for. So we're going to copy that URL and paste it over here. Once it's done, all three uh, pages are saved, uh, uh, information are saved, click on fields. Now you can design your contact form or whichever form that you want. Now I want an email. The label will be simply email and Next, I want a number. So my label will say phone. So I'm going to add that. Once I do both of them, I'm happy with my form. There will be a submit button. Of course, I can change the label for submit by clicking on this tab. You can name it whatever you want. And after you are happy with it, click on apply. Once applied, click on save and close. And your form is created. So once you close it, you'll be able to see that your form one has been created. Now remember the ID. Now the ID over here is ID three. Remember that. So going back in our WP uh, WordPress dashboard, simply click on page. Now we're going to create a page where we're going to embed our Motic form. So let's create a new page. I'm going to name it 
contact form one now this is important this is how you're going to embed your uh, form click on add block now search for short code if you don't have short code just simply um, search for it next is you have to copy this piece of code over here if you don't know how you guys can do that don't worry i'll mention the code in the uh, description box and you have to change the id now our id for form one was three so once i do that i'm happy with that i'm going to publish it so once my page is published i can click on view page and i can see how my contact form will look like so this is my contact form exactly how i uh, designed it in Motex. i can apply an email you can add anything you can add a phone number just in basic information and click on submit right now i don't have any um, authentication so that's why this page is over here so it's just then anyway and will be redirected towards your welcome page this was the welcome page that we designed at the very beginning of our video so guys this is how you guys can create a multi form and connect it with wordpress in five minutes literally the whole process took us five to ten minutes it's very easy to create um, and integrate both these applications so if you still have any questions just drop a comment in the comment section and don't forget to like and subscribe cloud pages